Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am joined again by Eddie Spaghetti. Mod Barbie Lover. Mod Barbie Lover, yes. And today we are doing a very special review. Uh, I think this is probably one of the most iconic 80s Barbies. Yes, I agree. Um, I'd say it's one of the top five. Yes, I remember, I was, because uh, I'm showing my age here now, I actually had this doll back in 1981 and she was the doll to have. She was the Barbie to have. She was the yeah. number one. Everyone wanted her. Also, Mattel used her as, we'll get into it later, but used her as their fashion model of choice and I yes. can see why. Definitely. Golden Dream Barbie. And we so, both have one. We both have one. Yeah. I think I got mine first. I got mine second because I had to copy yeah. him, of course. Yeah, of course. How sad am I, again? <laughs> But we actually have two different variations. So it's good that we doll. both got one because I didn't think there were variations of this doll, mm. to be honest. There are actually like at least 10 variations. Yes. Yeah. I suspect that this doll was released over multiple years. I agree, yeah. Because yeah. she was in the 1983 booklet all over it. Like, yeah. So I think, and I do remember her around in the early 80s. She was around for a while. Yeah. So she must have been a big seller for them, which is amazing because it was the, was basically the next step of the quick curl yeah. Yes, quick feature. Curl. Yeah. So it was like the update yes. of that, even though it's a completely different doll <coughs> from quick curl Barbie. So I think like, not only is she like quick curl, but she's also um, pretty changes Barbie. Yeah, especially with the costume yeah, the feature. Costume, yeah. I loved her back in the day because she reminded me of the girls that were, not the main characters, but the girls that were in the Aaron Spelling soaps from the early 80s, like Dynasty and Dallas and all of those. She looks like she could fit into that. She was like the glamour, the glamour doll of that yeah. era in the fashion. Because you, know, you play line, you had those sporty ones, you had the fresh, yeah. you know, ones that were casual, but she didn't. I got mine in 81 and she had this hairdo, I remember. Okay. But that was, uh, but I do remember the big one as well yeah. back then. Yeah. Not the big, you know, like the big one where it was yeah. like that. I don't remember that one, but I do remember the. Yeah. Yeah. That. All right. Yeah. Um, and I, I believe the ones with the golden text had a brown box liner. I think they did, you're right. Yeah. And there was the one with the fur coat, you know, the special yes, promotional special one, promotional the white. Fur coat, I yeah. want that one too. Yeah. But she has more the um, pink and pretty hair. Yeah, it's all pulled back. Or yeah. no part, just pulled back. Yeah. yeah. So we've got Golden Dream Barbie, and I love this. This, mm -hmm. this is what sold me as a 10 year old or 11 year old when I saw this. She's got the billion dollar look. Nine glamorous play pieces. There we go. And of course at the top here, which I can't forget, yes. golden gorgeous quick curl hair. I love these illustrations. Aren't they the best? I mean, that yes. was really the golden age of their illustrations on the box. Style her shiny quick curl hair many ways. And you've got the Farrah Fawcett, fl you know, flick backs yeah. for the first one. Very sort of late seventies. Into the early eighties, women were still wearing that. You know, it was still a big look there. Then you have the, um, the updo. Bottom uh, b b below that with a little what's that? Is that a little clip or something in her hair? I have no idea what that is. It's like a little jewel in her hair there. Yeah. Okay, because it does come with hair accessories. Now the one below it, this is the one that always used to freak me out as a kid. <laughs> you had that plastic crown that you put on her head, and you would push hair through it. Yeah. And so it would stick out in the front. It was the weirdest hairstyle. I don't remember anybody wearing this yeah <laughs> in or out of film television magazines um i love the one below it though that's such an early 80s look to me with the little barrette the little yeah. gold barrette all curled like that i would love to do that actually i think i did try to replicate that hairdo when i was a kid i think there. a lot of the dolls following this doll came with that hairdo yes yeah pretty much yeah. yeah yeah so i love the little gold barrette i mean that's cute yeah. i was obsessed with those little barrettes you always lost them yeah I lost all of mine, but I, I love them. And then you showed, I mean, you've got that really fancy quick curl curler there. Yeah. Um, with the gold. I love that because that was my favorite because it was gold and white. So yeah. dressy. A lot of Barbie collectors would be used to that one there because it was used yes. in the booklets as well. 
Um, let's just read it here. The doll who glitters like gold from head to toe. And we've got shiny hair and dazzling jewelry. And this is all her interchangeable pieces. So this was very sort of pretty changes. I think pretty changes was a huge success for them, wasn't it? Because yes. ever since then, you know, you had all these interchangeable pieces for dolls well into the 80s. I remember yeah. Fabulous Fur was the same. You had all the interchangeable oh, yes. fur pieces. Fabulous, so, yeah. so um, it was a good, I mean, it, it gives you a variety of outfits just by buying one doll. So he's got the glittery cape and it could be a hat as well. Glimmery gloves, I love the fingerless gloves. They're so of that era. Mm. I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous bodysuit. Fabulous skirt, glamour pants. Glamour pants. I think I that was my yeah. Is I the love name? that term. Oh, I think that was my nickname in college. <laughs> glamour pants. Glamour pants. Yes, I think that was. Or I think it, I wish it was. Mm. Um, and then shiny shoes. Shiny shoes. I actually shoe. forget what type of shoes she has. It's just like the glittery transparent. I've ones. actually seen online. There are pictures of like some gold coloured ones. Oh. There are some just plain clear ones. I'm interested to I see because I can't varies. remember. Yeah. I remember mine. Were, I think transparent with some gold flecks in it. I have a pair that came with a TLC um, quick curl that I got. Ah. And they were clear, just plain clear. Oh. But I've definitely seen some some variations on that. So okay. We'll, well see. we're interested to see. Yeah. Okay, so after you've got that fabulous, you know, they've even got the hand, have you noticed, like the hand. holding the doll in the illustration there. So you can oh, tell yes, she's a doll. Yes. I've never noticed that before, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so we've got Glamorous shiny accessories and for lots of hairstyles. So we've got the two barrettes, you've got your curling iron, you've got the hair arranger, that's that weird freaky plastic thing that you wrap around her head like the crown. You've got the comb. The comb and the brush look really special too. They've sort of got the gold and you know, um, bits yeah. on them there. Um, so you've got that styling foam to that big wheel. And this is the this is the two things I really loved out of these hair accessories, the two hair fashion combs. Um, so you've got create many looks with her glittery five piece costume, and she's just got her basic bodysuit there and her hat. So she's you know going to the pool, but she's not getting wet. Yeah. And I love this the bottom illustration because it's very disco. You it's, know, it's got yeah. like the jumpsuit. It's probably my favourite. Yeah. I agree. Just nothing. You know, no no frou frou or anything. You just got the basic bodysuit and those. Glamour pants. The glamour pants, yeah. Tell incorporated 1980, Hawthorne, California, 90250, made in Taiwan, manufactured for Mattel, all rights reserved, R and TM designate, US trademarks of Mattel incorporated, blah, blah, blah. Number 1874 for those at home. Yes. Both of our dolls are made in Taiwan. I do know that they did make some in the Philippines. I'm not sure if there were any other countries. Let's go. There we go. I was sort of putting it off there. Okay. Pretty simple. Oh yeah, just yeah the tab. Don't you love the tabs though? Because you can yeah, open them up again awful. and close them. So you can take it out and then put it back in if you want to. Yeah, I hate it when it's like glued with that big strip of yeah, glue. I can't. Rip it open. Yeah, I can't. Oh, okay, here we go. you're going to rip it open anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Oh goodness, okay, mine's stuck. It's not, oh, there we go. See mine, I think someone's taken the instructions out of mine. There is the booklet. I see she's on the cover, she's look at that. Cover. It's a, not a very detailed picture, it's quite blurred. And it's an illustrated booklet. What are those things? Rubber oh, bands. Rubber bands. Oh, okay. Oh, they're still intact, wow. Well, we'll see. We'll, well, we'll see. see. <laughs> well, use your imagination. <laughs> um. Now it's these twisty off things. So you twist yeah. them off the little frames there, which was great. Oh, you can use safety scissors as well, but we can twist them off. Yeah. I have safety I always, scissors. I always so. twist, but I think you're supposed to cut them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. So we have... Oh, yeah, you have to assemble the quick curl. I, forget, I forgot this, but you actually have to assemble this yourself. The little quick curl thing. This is why you need the instructions. Barbie fan club, we've all seen that yes. a million times. Okay, great. Now, these are great. Look at this. They were including these with dolls when I was a kid, as you've probably seen with my recent Naughties doll reviews. Mm. But not soon after that, they stopped. Um, I guess dolls just aren't interesting enough to come with instructions anymore. What a shame, because it really used to yeah. add to play to have this, I reckon. And I would always use these as colorings. Oh, that's a good idea. I never colours. did that. I loved coloring in these. That's a great things, idea. Yeah. Now you do need that just in case this didn't show up in the last video, because this is actually two pieces, the curling. Yeah. So you have to like put it together. It's pretty simple. You don't need instructions, but hey, it's there. Yeah. And then different styling instructions. Oh. Remove plastic hair protector and foam disc from head of doll. Use foam disc for hair styling. That makes me ah. think the big... The big had hair. the foam in it. Yes, and that was the first one, and that's why yes. the instructions include this. Yes, you're right. Yes. You're right. Yep, but then 
they, they stopped, took it out. Yeah, and they included it in the accessory bag instead. So, okay, now that's that weird hairdo. Let's show that because yes. look, look at that. You put on the drag queen. I'm going to call it the plastic drag queen crown there, and then you you flick the hair on the front there. Who wears that? Really? Two parts. And I believe you take the one with the, the stick on stick. the end. Yeah. And you slot that in there. Are you like sure? That. I would look. Oh, fine, I'll look. Okay, so and like turn that. Turn the stick into there. I believe you. And it clips in. Oh yeah, clips yeah, in. Yeah, clips in. I like and that. And then we're taking your rubber bands, and there's a little groove oh, there. Groove around here. Okay. We're going to just put the rubber bands around that groove. Just around the groove there. Oh, you got yours already. Hang on. How, no, hang this on. is too tricky. Like that, yeah? Yeah. No. Is it like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, like that. Mine is bent. Yep, that's oh, good. Do mine, because mine's a bit loose. I want to play with yours. Alright. Yours is really tight. See, that's how tight it should be, because you can put the hair yes. in it. In the other baggie, we have foam ring. And it's still okay. It's just like that packing foam you get. Yeah, so I guess that's sturdier. Stur then we have our plastic drag queen crown and it's made if you it's made out of the same plastic that the stands were made out of at this time she doesn't have a stand she does, does not have a stand which is sad i want a stand it's sad yes there's a little hat cape whatever yep hat, how's yours to mine cape. it's exactly the same exactly the same 100 percent. exactly the same no difference mine's a bit more crumpled though is that how okay i've just grabbed them by the like little tabs a bit more of a rosy gold Tone. Mine are a bit more yellowish. I'm not sure if that's with age. But yours are so beautiful. They're like rosy gold. See how different they are. His is a different weave entirely. It's much tighter and much lighter than mine. And mine's just that typical gold lame. This was the more common one, my one. Yes, I remember that everywhere. That's the rarer one by, sh by far. And it's more of a, a really thick um, fabric. It's very kind of stiff I'd say. And you said it was like almost like a cotton, it was mixed with a yeah, cotton. Yeah, it's like a cotton mix with um, tinsely and it's more tightly woven. This is a bit more, um, it's softer, more pliable. Um, it has larger, it's like a... A larger weave, it's larger like weave, a thicker, yeah. looser, larger yes. weave and it's just lame, it's no cotton or anything there. Yeah. So it's very scratchy on her but she won't mind. The jewellery here <laughs> These are the pink rings. These really intrigue me because I never noticed them until Dean said something. They're really pink rimmed, but just the rings, which is mm. weird because you see the necklaces. Very different there. Dean's is the paler one, the, the silver, to go with the outfit, yeah. so that makes sense. Mine's the darker. You can't really see it there, but it's much darker it's more gold. Of an amber it's like an amber, yeah. like a topaz. Topaz, yes. Yeah. There it is there. You can see it there. Yeah. It's, it's actually real. It does like register, like I thought it was more white when I purchased it. I'm not sure if there is a whiter version. There might be. Or if, whether it just photographs whiter. Hmm, could be, yeah, because it looks like it would photograph whiter, because look at even what it's doing. Yeah, basically the overskirt and all that is the same. The straps are the same. Totally in focus now, isn't that cool? Hmm. I believe yours has a darker skin tone. Yes, yours is lighter, but yours has heavier makeup, eye makeup. Yeah, though. heavier heavier eye makeup, out of focus again. But this is why I think these dolls were so popular, because they weren't the natural-faced superstar apple pie that you got back then. You know, they were quite sophisticated with their makeup. They were, you know, mm. more dressier. Uh, you know, smoky eye, more mm. like a feline cat eye. Yeah. So I can see why she was very popular. You know, it's quite, even though it's the same mold, mm. superstar mold, it wasn't natural looking, you know, it was more dressed up. She was like a glamour doll. You, you know, she really, you could dress her up. Come on. Disco biscuit. Disco biscuit. Whoa. <laughs> Disco biscuit Barbie. Let's take right. her out. I've already undone the oh God. first twist tie. I'm way behind. It's just two twist ties in the back, one holding in her hair, one holding in her waist. I'm going to take her... You're plastic taking your plastic off? Yeah. I might do that with mine too. I like keeping these though. They're really good for um, dolls where you know you want to train their bangs. Like with the, uh, I've got an American girl, a long haired American girl recently, and I always use these to train her bangs. Uh. Even my Ken, my mod hair Ken, was this. He was getting a bit Oh my goodness, shirt. look at it. Uh, her head is so loose. Is yours loose? No, no, but mine has mm. that scar on her neck. Oh, well, no, it is kind of loose. There is. Oh, I don't have as much tape on the back of mine. Mine has tons. I Look. do have some holding down the, um... The necklace. The and necklace. The, and the tie. But, but not the tie. Not but the tie. But look at that. 
Yeah, show that to the camera. I don't think, will it register? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, so there's that's some perfect. some tape across there. Across the back, yeah. poor thing. Left some residue, but we and can And then she's also off. got, oh God, what am I doing to her necklace? She's also got a scar there. Oh, Is it that side? Oh, oh, I do have tape. I do have tape holding down the... Oh, down the bottom. But it's underneath the... Oh, mine's there. higher up. Okay. Shall we look at their faces again, closer? Yes. Let's look at their faces. Oh, there we are. Boop. As you can see, mine has a lighter makeup and it's a little greener in the eyeshadow, which is really cool. They've got golden green eyeshadow, which is very sort of disco. I love mm. it. And yours but, is sort of darker and browner, which I kind of like because it looks yes. kind of 60s. Very heavy makeup. I think the eyes are a bit wider. Yeah. Lips more heavily applied. I believe yours has like more intense blush. Yeah. A little, it's, she's a little darker, is she? A little, yeah. yeah. Mine has pinker blush, I think. Yeah, the hair's pretty much identical. Hair's the same. Yeah. Hair's the same. No different. No different. And there we go. Wow, look at that. I did it in one go. Very late 70s, early 80s there, darling. Isn't that fabulous? Now that took me two seconds with one hand. Um, and that's great. Look at her. Oh my God, I'm so wrapped. All right. <laughs> she looks like that 70s show. You know that girl with the, that woman, the woman in that 70s oh, show with the flick bags? Oh, yes, yes. See, that is what I call professional hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's a party animal. There's mine. Oh, my came out. What do you think? Yeah? That no, is right. actually quite good. Here we go. I'm just like hopeless at this. All right. So we have had a little play with our dolls. Um, Gertie and... Oh, what do we name them? Gabby and Gertie. Gabby and Gertie Golden Dream. <laughs> Twin sisters. I'm just going to pull this out. Yep, and Gabby and Gertie, the twin sisters. So we've already covered that their their faces are quite different. They have different jewelry. Their outfits are made of different fabrics. And I styled her hair. Isn't yes. that cute? With the I was, little. He I was, was getting frustrated with the hair, yeah. so I styled it. I was struggling. Um, I did realize that only the light blonde that is around the um, the circumference of yeah, the head. Yeah. Um, so like is quick curl and the center part which is the the more golden blonde is actually just plain hair so not quick curl not a lot of quick curl there so that's why we were saying before it, it actually it's a lot harder to style than the original yes. quick curl girl um, hair because it's the copper wires are few and far between the I mean, it's NRFB, it shouldn't be wobbly, but hey, there you go. It's age, 40 years, come on. You know, it's very glamorous. I, I want to probably dress her up in this outfit, which I want to show. Yes. I haven't seen this in any catalogue or booklet anywhere. Oh, I think you're running out of battery there. I am running out of battery. Okay, so we should wrap it up then. Yeah. Okay. We didn't have too much of a close look at the outfit pieces separately, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you have your trousers. The bodysuit, the a skirt. With elastic bodysuit, which closes in the back with a snap. And the, a little tie at the top there. The little hat come cape. Yeah. And you have this. And the little sleeves, too. The sleeves are hot. Yeah. They're like little gauntlet sleeves. Yeah, they're hot. I like them a lot. Mm. Arm warmers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is Golden Dream Barbie. We hope you enjoyed this review and we will see you all next time. Well, I will. Maybe I will. Who knows? He will see you soon. If he gets me drunk, he'll see yeah. me again. Yeah. Bye. Bye.